right, what's up guys? Josiah here, uh, Unsuccessful Hunters. Today we are going to be going over the H2 Saddle Review. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with this channel, we are switching over uh, predominantly to saddles and saddle uh, type hunting, especially for public land, just to be a little bit more aggressive and to be a little lighter and to be a little more mobile. Um, and so I just got this H2 in this past week and we are gonna go over the pros and cons I've been sitting in it pretty much every day. I've already logged uh, a good amount of hours in it so far. Uh, tell you the pros, tell you the cons, tell you what we think about it, um, and, and why we're going with the H2 as well. But either way, this is just a, a simple review of the H2 saddle. So the first thing, obviously, that we need to do um, in reviews to tell you what all uh, came with it. This is the total saddle package from H2. And so right now they're out of the tree stand, but they have the tree stand, they have uh, this kind of camo, and then they have the, the tan um, camo as well. And um, so obviously, you know, you get the saddle, you have uh, your lineman's belt ropes right here, or the lineman's belt loops on the two sides like this right here. It comes with the uh, two HSS, uh, one is a tether. One can be used for the lineman's belt to climb up the tree. And then obviously you have your bridge as well. Um, and the one thing that I will point out about this review particularly is this is a triad bridge, um, which is new with the H2. And this bridge is awesome, absolutely incredible. It's not the standard bridge for the H2 saddle. So the H2 does not come with the, uh, the triad bridge. That, it comes with another standard bridge, uh, but the triad is an upgrade and I upgraded it just because I knew it's what I wanted, but it's fully made of am steel um, and it's, it's tested up to, I believe, 6,000 or 4,000 pounds. Either way, it's gonna hold pretty much all the energy that you would ever put on it. Um, it also comes with two uh, carabiners. Um, these two are for your lineman's belt and then also with the HSS straps, you're also going to have uh, the tether itself and that will clip to your bridge. And so that's what it comes with. So the first thing that sticks out to me is the sewing. Um, the sewing is absolutely incredible, the stitching and, and, and what you're seeing throughout the entire uh, belt and the entire saddle is just really handcrafted, handmade quality stuff. Um, you'll see that in the details. You know, and, and the details really make up this saddle, in my opinion. I love the camo pattern. Um, I think that is an absolutely gorgeous pattern, especially for what I'll be hunting, um, where I'll be hunting. And plus, you know, in saddle hunting, camo really doesn't matter, especially because you're behind the tree and the tree is predominantly your uh, camo. But either way, um, I love the molly attachments here. They're not that big which does kind of uh, hinder me a little bit because I am gonna attach some pouches. Um, and these loops right here, which you'll see, are not as big as I would like them to be, but um, they are still usable, they're still workable, which I really appreciate. Um, and they're, they're well-crafted and you know they're gonna hold a lot. Um, the other thing that I will say, which is something kind of standard, these lineman's belts loops right here, um, is a little flimsy, but there is a way that you can strengthen them with a zip tie that's found on uh, H2's uh, YouTube channel. Um, and so I'm definitely going to do that just so they're not flopping around, you know, while I'm walking in and everything. Um, but aside from the stitching, aside from the molly, aside from the lineman's belt uh, and the amp steel uh, bridge, I will say the leg straps to me are, are pretty nice. Uh, they're adjustable, fully adjustable. Um, they have this nice little G-lock here, and you can just pull them in, pull them to whatever uh, you know size your leg is. Um, also, on the flip side, you know you do have the belt, and so having this belt right here and clipping it in, it's a seamless clip. It's not banging around a lot of places it's not making a ton of noise which is uh, in my opinion nice because i wear my saddle in or i will wear my saddle in to the stand and i don't want to be making any kind of foreign noise um, especially with metal playing or just you know an odd noise in the woods walking in so you know i really appreciate that and that's 
pretty sturdy. Um, definitely don't think I'm gonna break this or tear this or rip this anytime at all if you know I use it properly. Um, and I just, you know, I will say again, the details of this saddle really make it nice. Um, you know, just looking at the hand stitching, looking at just everything um, and how well and how just really, uh, I would almost say indestructible it's made. Um, it, it's just really a plus. And so, you know, the, the next part of the review, instead of just telling you about it and telling you what I think, is actually to take it out to the field and show you how it performs um, actually in the stand. But now that I'm actually in the platform, now that I'm actually up in the stand, I do want to talk about just a few things um, that I really appreciate about this saddle. Um, and number one, it's the, the triad bridge. So this is made of pure am steel. Um, it's tested up to, I think, like four to 6,000 pounds. So that means any energy that I really put on this thing, I am not going to fall, right? Which is a nice thing. Um, you know, being up in a tree, if you're 25 foot up, 30 foot up, you do not want to fall, especially out of this thing. You want all your gear to hold up. Um, and so that's why I really appreciate this thing and just the strength of it. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about is hip pinch again. This is just really, really comfortable. Again, it cups really, really easy. Um, I really do like the fact that I can adjust this bridge as needed. Um, you know, if I wanted to adjust it and slide it or make it shorter or longer, I can easily do that to one side. So if there's a deer coming behind me, in front of me, I can just pivot around and then lay it down. Um, yeah, overall, this saddle, is really really a great saddle for the price uh, for, for 270 msrp the whole entire kit um I'll, <laughs> my fiance behind the camera just gave me a look oh my uh, goodness all right so but you saddle hunters out there know that when you buy something like this and it's going to last you five years you are, are hopefully longer um you're not going to have to pay and so really it's like a 35 dollar investment over five years and that's just a really easy way of looking at it, especially, you know, trying to talk that out to your wife or, or fiance. Um, you know, I really appreciate the Prusik knot. It's tied on very well. Uh, you can easily manipulate and, uh, you know, lower your tether length, um, shorten or even heighten your tether. Uh, like I said, the am steel, everything seems to be really, really good. I've sat in this for hours now. Um, and I absolutely am in love with this thing. I really, really appreciate it and just the safety and the quality and the, the workmanship in this thing. So, so overall, um, this saddle is probably a eight to nine out of 10 for me, uh, just for the price, just for the workmanship, uh, for the safety factor, obviously within the workmanship as well, um, and the comfortability. So those three things, just the, the comfort, the price, um, and, and then really just the safety and the workmanship are, are three to four things that I really look for um, in any product that I buy, especially in the hunting industry. I love this thing, just the functionality of it. Uh, I would definitely recommend anyone to buy it. I'm a, a big fan of it. There's obviously pros and cons to each and everything. But yeah, H2 Saddle, probably a 9.2 out of 10 love this thing uh, so if you guys are in the saddle game and you are looking for a new saddle obviously look at the h2 you know each and every company that's out there produces probably quality products um, i would definitely recommend this one though so unsuccessful hunters out